Yo, what's up guys, in this video I will show you the best settings that you can use in CS2. These settings will help you boost your FPS and lower your input lag, so make sure to stay to the end of the video. Firstly, we are going to start with the in-game settings. Go to settings, then to video, and now I'm going to show you the settings that will really help you with boosting your FPS. The brightness option is personal preference, so choose the one that suits you. Aspect ratio and resolution are again personal preference because a lot of players play on stretch resolution, so you need to see which one works the best for you. On display mode, make sure to use full screen or full screen windowed for the best performance. Avoid using borderless windowed mode as it can reduce your FPS. Refresh rate, make sure it's on the highest that your monitor can handle. Now go to advanced video. Boost player contrast enabled, this setting won't affect your FPS and will make the enemies more visible. Wait for vertical sync, disabled, can cause input delay and lock save FPS to your refresh rate. Current video values preset, custom, multi sampling atlasing more, forex, lower values provide minor FPS game but looks bad. Global shadow quality, medium or high but avoid low. I recommend global shadow quality to high or medium, as shadows in CS2 can give away positions, so if you have shadow settings at low, you can be at a disadvantage. Model and texture detail, medium, minimal FPS impact. Model and texture detail has almost no effects on your FPS in my testing, so you should be able to keep this at medium or even high to enjoy skins looking a bit nicer without a hit to frame rate. Texture filtering mod, billionaire. Minimal FPS impact and it's improved the texture's appearance. Shader detail low, it improves your FPS. Particle detail low, again it improves your FPS. Particle and shader detail can both set to be low as they are poorly visible and can impact your FPS. Ambient occlusion high or medium can be advantages with minimal FPS impact. High dynamic range quality, minimal impact on your FPS and big visual upgrade over performance. FX super resolution disabled and highest quality, you might think disabling Fidelity FX super resolution won't improve performance, but this setting actually improves your FPS by upscaling the game, which your quality will look almost identical with a small boost in performance. If you're struggling with FPS, you can try quality instead. Nvidia Reflex Low Latency enabled or enabled plus boost, this setting will reduce the latency and make your PC more responsive. Now I'm going to show you some window settings that you can try. Go to the search bar and type game mode and make sure it's on, as you can see it's turning apps off in the background. Now go to the power options and choose high performance, this will make the game run more smoother as the PC is using more energy, but it's not that big of a deal. Another thing that you can do is right click on the taskbar, go to task manager and from there you can close some apps that you're not using by right clicking and then end the task. Make sure to use this only if you installed the app that is working and it's not a Windows app. Thank you so much for watching guys, make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. If you have any ideas for future videos, make sure to leave them in the comments and see you in the next video.